Hello everyone, we will continue that topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous video we started with the new features of open SQL as a part of SAP ABAP new syntax and what we did firstly I developed a program and in that program I have written the query I have used the old open SQL syntax, I'll say before ABAP 7.4. Now I will simply, simply convert this open SQL query to new syntax. It means I will simply use the syntax, which is from ABAP 7.4 onwards. Suppose whenever we are writing the query, from ABAP 7.4 onwards, the separator between the columns is comma. I will make a copy. I will not touch this. I will make a copy of this query. Anyways, it is totally your wish because old syntaxes are not obsolete. They will work as it is. Now the separator between the columns is comma. Suppose I am giving comma. Whenever you will give comma, okay, done. Now, these are your data objects, internal table and the select option. If I will check the syntax, so system will simply give me the error because as of now, what happened? Half of the part I used for new syntax, half of the part is still for the old syntax the so system will give me the error. You need to write completely. Either you need to use the new syntax or you need to use the old syntax. It is clearly saying that you have not used at the rate with LT underscore data internal table. We covered in the previous video that all host variables must be prefixed with at the rate. So I will simply, simply prefix it with it with at the rate. Now this internal table is a data object. Now this particular error we resolved. Now I will get the error for this also. Suppose I am checking the syntax. Now it will give me the error for S underscore VBEL because it is also a data object. Now, whenever you are going for new syntax, this also should be prefixed with at the rate. Now I am using at the rate. Now I will check the syntax and you can see it is working fine now. Now do not go for that, that half of the part you will write with new open SQL syntax and half of the part you will write with uh, this old SQL syntax. Anyway, system will give you the error. You can go for completely old syntax or you can go for completely new syntax. So when I put the comma, yes, I got the error. So I put add the rate with internal table also, add the rate with this select option also as these are data objects. Now, next thing, we already know inline declarations now maximum people will ask, okay, now is there any need to declare the internal table separately? Can in the same query itself, I can declare this particular internal table? Yes, it is also possible. Now, suppose there is no need to declare this structure type. There is no need to declare this internal table. And now I'm commenting the work area also. I will show you that part also. Now we in this particular line itself, I will declare the internal table. And now you need to use what data? This is your inline declaration. And now I'm using bracket. So I used at the rate because it is a host variable and I am using at the rate and I'm using data. Why I am using data? Because in the same line itself, we are declaring the internal table. See, many times people, what they will do? They will do this part also. And they will do this part also. 
now you will get the error you are declaring the internal table explicitly also you are declaring the internal table in the line also it means you are going for explicit declaration also you are going for inline declaration also so system will give me the error now that it is already declared so either you need to go for explicit or you will say inline declaration now it is clearly saying lt data already declared so if you are declaring it explicitly do not write then add the rate in the add the rate do not write data in the query anyways add the rate is for post variable now i will simply simply comment this part now i will check the syntax now i will get a error for this work area this work area you i am now i am not explicitly declaring this work area now system will give me the error for this work area now i will simply go for inline declaration and in the line itself we will declare this work area so i will simply write at the rate sorry data at the rate is for host variable it is my mistake so now you can simply write data now i will check the syntax and now you can see there is no error this is fully fully your new syntax you have written the query by using new open sql syntax new open sql syntax means from abap 7.4 onwards whatever the enhancements which sap provided in terms of open sql now in this query itself we declared the internal table it is a inline declaration we used at the rate because at the rate is for the host variables host variables means whatever the data objects are there now one important point many times in the interview we ask the people what is guest variable okay so this vbeln is a guest variable it means you are passing the input to which particular variable which particular column of the table see these are your host variable whatever the data objects are there they are called as your host variable and this particular column your input is going to this column of the table so it is called as your guest guest variable or you can say guest column anyways it is a column of the table so these are your host variable and it is called as your guest variable and now in the loop also rather than explicitly declaring the work area in the loop statement itself i have used the keyword data and i declared this work area by using inline declaration so what is the summary of this particular video especially those who are learning new syntaxes for the first time so many important points covered firstly in this new open sql syntax yes you can use you have to use comma whenever you will use comma all data objects needs to be prefixed with at the rate and they are called as host variables now if i am not explicitly declaring the internal table you can use data keyword with the internal table name itself now we have not declared the work area also so while displaying that data i use that data keyword with the work area itself and then we covered this vbeln is your guest variable guest variable your data objects are called as host variables and this is your guest variable so now in the next video we will proceed further on the features so that's it in this video thank you